point, Nigeria was at war. We all know what happened to him during that war. He was in detention for three years, much of it in solitary confinement. Nigeria would appear to have been in some kind of confinement since those days. We have not appeared to know how to move beyond it. We needed for states to be created. And after states were created, we could not give the states the means with which to be properly states. So all the states that were created, we are weak. Too much was put in what they call the exclusive legislative list, so that today many states do not have the means even to pay salaries. It is not only because oil prices are falling, it is also because the powers that states use to possess are no longer as they should be. My apparition rose from the fall of lead declared. I'm a civilian. It only serves to aggravate your fright. For how could I have risen a being of this world in that hour of impartial death? And I thought also, no, it's your quarrel of this world. I stood still for both eternities, and oh, I had lessons of your training session, cautioning, scorched air behind you. Don't lead a dubious neutral to the rear. Reiteration of my civilian quandary, burrowing air from the lead festival of your more eager friends, work the worst of your, your confusion. And when you brought the gun to bear on me, and death twitched me gently in the eye, your plight and all of you came clear to me. I hope someday, intent upon my trade of living, to be checked in stride by your apparition in a trench signaling I'm a soldier. No hesitation then, for I shall shoot you clean and fair with meat and bread, a gourd of wine, a bunch of breasts from either arms, and that long question. Do you, friend, even now know what it is all about? I want to hand this microphone. That is Wolesh Onika's civilian and soldier. As I hand this microphone to Professor Alagoa, he is a historian, one of the great ones who dredged our history and our past to make sure that those who once conquered them we acquire the knowledges with which they conquered our parents and our great-grandfathers. We need to acquire the knowledge with which to stand up to them so that when they come back again, we shall not be worsted. It is not really a question. I think Professor Alakawa knows what to do when I hand him the microphone. Uh, I want to uh, say that I'm really surprised that I've been brought here as a literary icon because I'm a historian. I do tell stories, stories of our people. Uh, but not in as engaging and uh, clear and visible and uh, affecting the different emotions and so on of people that the literary people, the, the magic that they can bring to the, to the story, because the historian has to rely on evidence, something that has come from the past to interpret it, to tell us the story of humanity, to tell us who we are. And uh, I expect to give us some wisdom. 
the what uh, of has said for the Niger Delta I know that the people from the evidence we have from archaeology for example have used things right in the environment to create their cultures and their civilization but not in isolation they are united with all the rest of Nigeria uh, north their immediate neighbors the Igbos our cultures are inextricably linked and joined and uh, we find that we have uh, relations with communities along the river Niger right up to Sokoto we have found that from excavations that we have done in Sokoto and in the Niger Delta and westwards through the Niger Delta all the way to Lagos and beyond uh, so uh, life and fortunes and destiny I believe are all united and that's a story that we historians can tell and that is the history that I try to tell thank you thank you so much sir I I want to disagree with professor Alagoa on one thing he is not just a historian he's also a stylist read his works I have on my table in Lagos a paper he did in on the oral tradition it is a work of art and by the way it is not only people who write fiction drama and poetry whom win Nobel prizes Winston Churchill won the Nobel Prize for writing good history in good English and I can assure you irrespective of what you do in the world this is the way you are judged if you are a good physicist a good political scientist a good engineer if you write well people will say you have acquired the skills of a creative writer creative writing is at the center of the way people tell stories the way people narrate but historians are part of that tradition and there is a way in which when you encounter many Nigerian historians you will know that they have done for us marvelous jobs that honestly we should not allow the destroyers of Nigerian education to prevent our children from embracing they are marvelous historians across Nigeria not just in any one part of the country historians have done such a good job that look what they used to call the Ibadan history tradition is still very much there because the publishing industry in Nigeria has run into trouble we never get to meet them well Professor Lagoa is actually on this side of the table properly because he represents a grand company that has helped us do great things there is there are very many people who want to ask questions here but because of the time factor I would like to begin by calling Sorry. I would like to weigh in on the last, issue, last question you raised. This is what this is what a colloquium is all about. We have all challenged the governor to respond. Thank you very much. I would like to give my perspectives on the question you asked as to whether it is proper or not to say that the continued existence of this country uh, is non-negotiable or should be so. Uh, before I say why I agree with the submissions of the learned Nobel laureate, let me, for the benefit of our young people here, make this clear. God, in his infinite wisdom, has endowed mankind with several gifts. 
and one of the most